What is up guys, Jello Pineda here, back again with another episode of the vlog. Today's video is another unboxing video. And yes, sabi ko, hindi na ako bibili ng sapatos. Sabi ko talaga, stop na ako sa Lost and Found. Stop na. Hey, it is what it is. Tumama tayo sa sneakers and alang lang naman ibalik ko, di ba? So this sneaker right here, a sneaker that I felt na mas maganda talaga siya on hand. Then no, nakita ko lang siya sa mga leaked images. I actually talked about this sneaker dun sa last video, which is yung upcoming sneaker releases for the month of April. I'll link it on top of the screen if you haven't seen that. But with all that out of the way, I'm so excited for this one. And I do hope you are too. With that being said, Tara, let's unbox. Thank you so much for checking on this video today, guys. And I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Kung bago ka dito, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this. And kung matagal ka na rito at all, thank you so much for sticking with me. Alright, so as you can see here, this sneaker... Or this Air Jordan sneaker, as you can see there, comes in an all-black Air Jordan box. It does have a glossy print of the Wings logo dito sa kanyang top lid. Air Jordan Wings logo dito sa kanyang side ng boxes. This one right here is the Air Jordan 1 Low Special Edition Dutch Blue Smoke Gray and Sale. Or what they call the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo 96. There you go. Ayan. So let's go ahead and open Actually, in-open ko na ito nakaraan. And yes, eto sila. I never thought na magugustuhan ko sila on hand. The materials are very, very nice. The color combination is is really good. Apart from that, you don't have or you don't get extra laces sa kanyang box. And since ito yung mga, hindi sila yung mga OG cut, medyo malaki and different sila than yung mga OG cut natin. And I'll probably do a, a comparison video if you want. But I have a previous one. I'll link it on top of the screen. This is the difference between an OG OG Air Jordan 1 Low versus the retro um, Air Jordan 1 Low. So, yeah, para makita mo yung difference ng cut. But other than that, that is the box, all black, very, very sleek. And I I think it's uh, fairly small compared to the other Air Jordan 1 boxes. Just to give you a comparison sa boxes nila, ito sa kapag OG na Air Jordan 1 Low. And this one is. Yeah, so makita mo, may konting difference talaga sila. So these guys retailed for 6,195 pesos. And nung, nung nakuha ko to from sneakers, uh, meron, siyang, meron siyang kasamang shipping and handling na 250 pesos. Ang total ko is 6,445 pesos. And right now, these guys are reselling for about 7,500 to 8,000 pesos, which is not bad of a deal. If you ask me, kasi it's just like retail plus 1,500 or 2,000 pesos. So not bad considering the quality of the pair na makuha mo. And not just me, even yung wife ko nung, nung nakita niya yung pair, she really liked the colorway, she really liked the aesthetic, vintage all over, and it's just a very, very clean aesthetic. So just a little bit of background of the sneaker before we go through the materials. Jordan Brand made this sneaker, made this colorway to commemorate the first ever Michael Jordan went to Tokyo, Japan, and they had an event dun sa Yokohama Center. He was also with other NBA stars as well. And I guess the main inspiration for this one was yung mga nakakalaro yung mga Japanese kids. One of them was wearing a UNC uniform. So I guess yun yung nakuha na lang aesthetic or dun nila nakuha yung kulay, yung actual vibe na sneaker. So from 1996 till 2023, that ganun na siya katagal from 1996. And that's why they called this sneaker the Tokyo 96. Now getting into the details of the actual sneaker. On your toe box, you do have a very, very soft, and short-haired suede, which I did not expect. Akala ko like leather. And knowing yung mga gantong klaseng Jordan, yung mga gantong klaseng cut ng Air Jordan, hindi ganun kagandahan ng kanila mga leather. I tried to stay away sa gantong klaseng cut. But then again, when I saw that they put suede in here, I guess di sila nagtipid this time. So wrapping around your toe box, you do have a little bit of grainy leather in your Dutch blue colorway. Now when I say grainy leather, a little bit of tumbled in my opinion. Basta makikita mo na meron talaga siyang mga tumbled uh, marks within there. I'm not sure, pero I think synthetic lang sila. Hindi sila yung talagang actual grainy leather, but hey, 
Ganun ang design nila. And the same materials comes up to the first three eyelets of your sneaker. So moving up to the laces, you do have one pair of laces and this comes in your sale or cream sort of uh, color tone. Yeah, actually, sobrang match na match sila with your gray suede or parang sale suede. Though I think bagay dito orange laces or pink laces, which I conveniently have here. Try natin, nalagay ko sa Instagram. Check it out mo doon. Now on the second half of your eyelets, Dito mag-iiba na yung kulay niya. So from Dutch blue, magiging na siyang smoke gray. And it comes in the same material, same grainy or tumbled leather, hanggang sa pinakataas. Now you also do have gray suede or I guess sail suede on your lateral and on your medial side of the sneaker. And also hanggang sa pinakalikod or pinakakolor ng sneaker. Now talking about the swoosh. Now interestingly enough, itong swoosh na to sort of reminds me of a reptile. Hindi siya pebbled lang eh. Parang snake skin. And this one also comes in smoke gray. Of course, on the heel of the sneaker, you have more of that tumbled leather. And syempre, di mo awala sa kanyang pinaka-heel. You do have an embroidery of the Wings logo in a sort of yellowish, orangish na, na, I don't know, parang gold or pale gold or something. Basta yan. Yan siya. Now, your tongue comes pre-yellowed already and it comes deconstructed. It does have the Jumpman logo in sort of yellow or orange and the text that says Air. And medyo interesting tong ano niya, itong pagkaka-print or pagkaka-embroider sa kanyang uh, sa kanyang patch. Parang lines lang siya na uneven. So I'm not sure what that represents. Oh yeah, akala ko sa taas lang ang deconstructed tongue. Sa buong side niya ay deconstructed din pala. So, wow, not bad. Moving inside your sneaker, you do have a leather sock liner in sale colorway. To be honest, I don't really like uh, leather insoles. Minsan, alam mo parang, ano, parang umuutot. This advantage lang naman ng mga leather sock liners for me is sa katagalan nagbabakbak sila. So, for this one, yeah, premium. Ang ganda nakikita. It is fairly padded. But I'm not sure in terms of longevity of the sneaker. Inside the sneaker, you do have a polyurethane insole with the Jumpman logo in orange. Yeah, hindi na sila gumamit ng ano yun? Dream Cell this time. It does not come with the usual Air Jordan shoe trees. It just comes with parang papel na same na mahanap mo sa mga Lost and Founds. Or sa mga Jordan 3 white cement. Basta ganito na siya. Papel lang siya, hindi siya actual na shoe tree. Continuing down sa kanya midsole, you do have a very, very aged midsole. And hindi lang siya sale eh. Para na siyang... I think this one is comparable to the Shattered Backboard 3.0 na midsole. Yeah, medyo ganun na ang kulay niya. Um, sort of ganun na yung kulay niya. Now, interestingly enough, one of the most striking details that I saw that I appreciated with this sneaker was the actual stitching. Usually kapag ganyan, sinasabay nila yung stitching doon sa kulay ng midsole. But for this one, it comes in a little bit of orange, parang orange gold. Uh, sort of stitching and I like the contrast. Ang ganda niyang nakikita, bumagay siya with the Wings logo dito sa likod. I just think this time Jordan Brand nailed it with this sneaker. Yes, ito yung mga retros lang, but ang ganda ng color combination niya overall. And of course, moving to your outsole, you do have the best traction in the world, sabi nga nila. You have a standard Air Jordan 1 traction pattern in Dutch blue. Ayan, just for comparison, ito yung Dutch blue. Ito naman ang UNC or tatawag nilang powder blue. So yeah, mas matingkad yung powder blue. And this one, uh, yeah, okay lang. Hindi siya ganun katingkad. And I just like the actual color of the sneakers. Kumbaga, hindi masyado matingkad yung Dutch blue. Yes, it is a lighter shade of blue but hindi siya yung striking na gantong klase yung pagkaka-blue. So, overall, very, very nice. And just so you are aware, these guys come unlaced. Ganito siya pagkadating or pagkakuha mo, brand new. Marami nagkasabi in the beginning na ito daw ay LA Union or Union LA collaboration sa Jordan 1 Low. Which is ako, napapaniwala talaga ako nung una kasi it has a similar vibe. Two sneakers stitched together, vintage it out. And yun yung kakalabasan niya. So, nung nakita ko tong combination, sabi ko, hindi malayo or hindi malabo na ganito nga talaga ang LA Union. Which is good na hindi siya LA Union kasi if it was, then it's gonna be very hard to get these sneakers or resale price will go up. So, I'm very, very happy na hindi ganun kataas ang resale price ng mga pairs ito. And anyone who wants one can get it. Very attainable price. And at the same time, it's just a very, very clean shoe. Ngayon, in terms of fit, I rock a size 10 and a half. I went with 10 and a half. So my feet might be different for you. I usually rock a size 10, but sa mga Jordan 1s, Jordan 1 high OGs, usually I grab a size 10 and a half and they fit me perfectly. For the lows, kumuha ko ng 10 and a half sa mga lows ko. 
And I can say na medyo maluwag sila. For this one, kumuha pa rin ako ng 10.5 just to be sure kung baga meron akong konting space sa toe box. So if you have narrow feet, go through to size. Or if you are a bit of a wide footer, I would suggest going a half size up. But anyways, guys, that is my review. That is my overall thoughts on the Air Jordan 1 Low Tokyo 96. And to be honest, mura lang siya. Kung wala kang pambili ng mga collaborations, ay mong gumasto sa mga sobrang taas na resale value ng mga hype pairs this sneaker right here will do for you since you have premium materials you have nice color blocking nice color combination with dutch blue and smoke gray and if you're in the vintage side of things this sneaker will be perfect for you so there you have it that pretty much wraps up my video for today let me know in the comment section down below of what you think of these sneakers right here were you able to cop them for retail or were you able to cop them for resale do you think prices will go up or will they just maintain the way they are today if you like this video please go ahead and smash that like button here on the bottom of the screen it does help out with algorithm and it helps the channel grow kung bago ka dito consider subscribing to my youtube channel for more videos just like this okay so you know for the meantime marami marami salamat for checking on this video and i will see you on the next one peace guys